Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can stream a live YouTube video into a GUI using Python. So first of all, let me give you a raw blueprint or an idea of how this project is going to work. So we'll use a package called Paffy to extract the video from YouTube and then we'll use VLC to display that video on our GUI. Okay, so our first task is obviously to install those packages. So we'll quickly jump to our command prompt and write pip install python vlc to install vlc and then pip install paffy to install paffy. Now let me close this command prompt to go to my editor to start writing my code. Okay. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So our first task is to import our packages required. So we only need two package. First is VLC and second is uh, Paffy. Okay. Now let's take a URL variable and in that variable we'll store the link to a YouTube video which we want to stream. So this is the link of one of my previous video. You can use this link or the link for this video also to work for your project. Okay. So now let's create a video variable to extract the data of the video using our Paffy package. So we'll write URL here. So there you can see we are using our Paffy package to get the data for our uh, this YouTube video. Then we are going to create a class object to get the best video quality. So let's create a variable best and then video dot best. Sorry, it should be get best. So we are going to get the get best quality of this video. Now you may have seen different videos are having different quality standards. So this will check what is the best quality available for this video. Now let's apply this best quality to our video. So let's say we create a variable play URL and then we'll just simply give this best variable which is having the best quality to this URL. Okay. Now our Paffy work is done. We are having the video. Now you can use two methods here. You can either use a Kinter GUI to display the media or you can use VLC as we are doing here. Okay, so with Kinter, you will have more flexibility like you can, you can pause the video, you can skip or whatever you want to do, you can do with Kinter. But with VLC, some of the functionalities are limited, but VLC is a lot simpler. So just to show you, I'm using VLC here. It's totally on you. If you want more functionality, then you can use Kinter or any other GUI here. Okay. So first of all, we need to uh, create an VLC instance. So we'll write VLC dot instance. Uh, make sure that this I is capital here. So VLC dot instance. Then we'll create a player variable which will have the value of the instance dot create a new media uh, GUI. Okay. So media player actually in terms of VLC. So media player should be player here. Okay. And new. Okay. There should be an underscore here also. Okay. So this will create a new media player here. Till now, this media player is having no value. Okay, so we have just created the media player. Now let's provide this data into this media player. Now we'll write media here. Let's create a media variable. And then uh, with instance, instance.media, this should be media here. And new. Okay. And then we'll write this play 
url variable hai okay the best play url variable the best quality of that video okay now let's do media dot get mrl where mrl means media resource locator so basically we are looking for that media okay so now let's player dot set we are gonna set our media player this player instance that we have created our gui instance with a uh, set media there should be media here media with this media variable having all the value now i know you are confused but try to understand these uh, commands once again by the way i'll explain this after i'm done writing these codes okay so just uh, stay along and don't skip otherwise you will uh, complain that you are not able to understand so here we are playing that video okay uh, then we'll decide the time after which we want to stop the video now this is one of the drawback that i want to discuss with this vlc player now i don't know whether it's having such functionality or not i have tried a lot but i wasn't able to control this vlc uh, media player with the help of a keystroke or by using any other command here so let's provide a time span let's say for 10 seconds so this media player or this youtube video will play for 10 seconds okay so now let me take some time to explain you these lines of code okay so let me save this first okay so first of all we have imported our libraries okay so no problem here then we have uh, stored our youtube video link into a url variable then we have created a video uh, variable having the data which is extracted from that link which is of a youtube video then here we are creating the instance of the best quality of this video which is present on youtube okay so video which is this video of this url and the get best to get the get best quality and then in this play url we are configuring our video this url video with our best quality so this best having the best quality of this video to this video okay so we are done till here now let's come to our vlc part so first of all we have created a media player okay so this command is is just creating a new media player and in this second line we are providing with this play url okay then in this third line we are locating the media that what type of media it is because vlc is also used to uh, play the audio so we are just checking that what type of media or what type of format is this and then we are setting this player there you can see this player is the media player variable now we are setting this to this media variable which is having the play url value okay so take some time to understand because i know this is a bit tricky okay so take your time to understand this so let me save this and run this code and it will take some time because uh it's fetching the data from internet okay so we are having some error at the line uh, instance dot new okay so this should be i here because we are using this i instance this vlc instance okay so now let's run this again okay so time is not defined because obviously we haven't imported time so we'll import time first okay let's save this and run this again okay so we are having some uh actually this is not an error but uh, our time span was too less 
so let's make it 50 and then run it again so that it's visible for us so there you can see that our uh, python gui is running and it is displaying our youtube video here okay so this is one of my youtube video which was about to create i guess qr code reader okay so this was the part to create a gui to stream a live youtube video now let's move ahead and create a short program to display a video which is already present in your computer just like a media player okay so we have already imported time we have already imported vlc so let's say that we create a p uh, variable and then vlc dot uh, media uh, player make sure that this p is only capital here okay and then provide the path or the name to that video link okay so i'm having this 1.mp4 video here so i'll simply write 1.mp4 and i guess this m is also capital here so let me make this m also capital here so vlc dot media player in which m and p are capital okay now we'll simply play we'll simply play for let's say uh time sleep for let's say 50 seconds so this video 1.mp4 will play for 50 seconds now i'll convert all these commands to a string so that they are not executed okay so no i'm not interested in buying okay so let's run this and there you can see our 1.mp4 video is running okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you how to stream a live youtube video into a python gui and and in the second part i have shown you that how you can create a media player some sort of a media player using python okay so this is it this is me your i know python guy signing out and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye